today we are making this soap here, which is Lime Cooler. I've made this one on video, I believe, before. I must have done. I haven't looked back, but I'm pretty damn sure I've made this, maybe even several times um, on camera, but I'm not really sure. Anyway, Lime Cooler is a nice, citrusy, zesty, sugary scent. This is one of my favourites, my personal favourites. And I've made a couple of loads of this one. And this is um, me getting ready for next year. So Christmas hasn't happened yet. I'm in my window with my little decorations. And we are a couple of weeks away from Christmas Day. So I'm sort of winding down Christmas production now. I'm doing bits and pieces, but not very much because I'm concentrating on the new year, which is my favourite time to think about. So I like the run up to Christmas, but when Christmas is almost here, my head is next year just happens so I'm starting on my spring line my new year line so there's a few that will follow after this video so we've got things like the ghost of Whitley Court which is a nice Parma violet perfume based soap and then there's one called old seaside town which I'll also be making to show you how I make that one which is quite tricky it's a, a scent that likes to rice, but we'll see how that one goes. Hopefully I can control that one this time. I'm only making a loaf of it. So to start with, then we're going to be making lime cooler. So stay tuned to see how I make.
Okay, ready to cut lime cooler. It's a grey old rainy day today, very cold again. It's a sort of day where you feel like you just want to be at home watching movies and letting the world just get on with it. <laughs> Just one of those days, you know, it's dark and it's gloomy and we could be having a nicer time at home. <laughs> Although cutting soap is the best part for me, so I was uh, glad to wake up this morning and have soaps to cut. So let me just get to the inside of this one and see where it starts to swirl in there. So there's not a lot to it, it's just a very simple but nice, classic soap. Would look nice in the bathroom. I like the simplicity of this and the top's lovely. So what else have I been watching on Netflix, you ask? I've been watching Bad Santa on Amazon Prime with Billy Bob because I love those films, they make me laugh so much. And I have been watching this other documentary thing about, it's another when people go missing, it's a UK one, but it's um, yeah, like murder investigations. It's not very nice, but it's very interesting. Um, I like those kind of programs. I like detectives and the cleverness of them and I just find myself getting absorbed into the story and, you know, how they find people to me. Just, I think these people are amazing. So, I do like to watch things like that, but I have to be in the right mood because it's very dark. It's not like, you know, it's not a nice thing to do, to be watching, but I do enjoy them. I'm a true crime fan. I shouldn't really say that, but, you know. No crime is nice, but it's interesting. I just like the part and I'm intrigued to how detectives, you know, put their stuff together to find these people. I just think it's incredible. So that's why I watch them. And then Downton Abbey, of course, I've been watching that and really enjoying that. So at night time when I'm cooking the dinner, I'll have Downton on, on my tablet in the kitchen. We're going to get a TV for the kitchen because there's the sockets there ready. The last people had a TV up on the wall, so I'm going to do that because it's quite away from the front living room. So you can't really hear it in the kitchen. If you've got the TV on in the living room, what I mean is it's not going to bother somebody else in the living room. So I just want to get another one so I can watch my programmes on a bigger screen while I'm cooking, you know. OK, so that's Lime Cooler. Um, just do a few more. Thank you. 